Hi Aquarius, welcome to your astrology forecast for 2019 and 2020 with a primary focus in 2019. Now this is going to be a general overview of what is going to happen. I will go into much greater detail when I do the monthly Aquarius astrology forecast. The big news in 2019 is the mega conjunction in Capricorn. Right as you go into 2019, your traditional avatar, Saturn, is in Capricorn. The sun and the moon will be together in Capricorn and Pluto is in Capricorn. So at the eclipse in January, on January 5th, 2019, the new moon eclipse is pulling Saturn and Pluto together. This is a game changer. They will exactly couple together in January, February, March of 2020 and for most of 2020. Although in 2020, your traditional avatar, Saturn, will move into Aquarius March 23rd through June 16th. And then he's back into Capricorn June 17th through December 17th, 2020. And then he'll move into Aquarius December 18th, 2020. And be in Aquarius all of 2021, all of 2022, and that is going to be the start of the new you. Now that doesn't mean it's not going on now because it is. With Saturn and Pluto coupled together like this, it's initiating new growth. Now, the last time they coupled together was in 1982 and 1983. And I talked about that when I did the 2018 through 2020 astrology forecast. I asked everyone to think back of what was going on with them back then. And some people said, hey, I wasn't born yet. You can run transits around your natal birth chart even before you're born because your birth chart is alive. And things that happened before you were born and things that will happen after you're here, you can still run transits around and see how it's affecting you. So you might have made big changes back then. Another big time period to consider is 1989 and 1990. That's the last time you had Saturn in this area of your life and your avatar Uranus was in Capricorn. Uranus is your ruling planet. He is your avatar. He represents everything Aquarius. Saturn is your traditional avatar. He represents everything traditional about Aquarius. They were together in 1989 and 1990. Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn were coupled together. And the faster moving planets, like in January 2019, pulled them together, kept them going, kept lighting them up. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Sun and the Moon eclipses and so on and so what was happening with you back then you might want to think about what was going on in 89 and 90 as well as what's going on with you in 2019 and 2020 because you are getting ready for your Saturn return well your Saturn return to Aquarius Saturn conjunct Sun is like a Saturn return because the Sun is you who you are. And when Saturn couples with the Sun, it redefines who you are. And the last time you redefined who you were was in 91 and 92. That's when Saturn was in Aquarius. Here in 2019, the eclipses are bringing up whatever buried deep within your subconscious. Capricorn rules the area of your subconscious mind, your karma, your how you get in your own way, 
how you limit yourself or sabotage yourself. And with the eclipses running here, there's going to be three of them in 2019. It is an opportunity to work with any fears that you might have or insecurities. It's about cleaning out the closet of your mind, cleaning out the space. And if anxiety comes up or fear or trepidation, Saturn is requiring you to get rid of the junk in your trunk. <laughs> no more hiding from the painful, the ugly, and the difficult. Forgive yourself for what you've had to experience and release it in love and light. The Capricorn Eclipse is asking for you to really do a house cleaning on the deepest parts of you. The following eclipse will be a lunar eclipse and it's the last one in Leo. And that's in the area of relationships. So for some of you, you might be completing a relationship in January. Or you might be completing something with a relationship in a partnership. There's something you and your partner are completing together. So there's something completing for you in Leo. Leo is about the heart. So it is about really being in touch with what you love, what is passionate for you, what turns you on, what is true for you, what lights you up. Do the work in the subconscious, do the work with relationships, do the work with your truest heart's desire. Now Uranus, your modern avatar, is taking you to task and asking you to get out of your comfort zone. This is especially true for the um, Aquarians born right at the beginning of Aquarius. So those Aquarians born in January are working very closely with Uranus. Now all Aquarians are going to be feeling this energy because he is your ruling planet and he's moved into Taurus. Now he stepped back into Aries and he'll re-enter Taurus March 6th. And he'll be in uh, Taurus for the next six years. He will retrograde in Taurus August 11th through January 20th. That's going to give you some time to review all of the growth that you're going to do massively this first eight months of 2019. Because of the eclipses, because of the transits. And in January, the good news is January 6th through March 5th, all the planets are direct. Your avatar, Uranus, moves direct March 6th. That means all the planets are now direct. And that is the best time to launch something new, begin something new, start something new, because the planets are on your side. They're helping you. They're pulling you forward. They're encouraging you. It's easier to start something new when all the planets are direct because everything's in forward motion and it's just easy to get things done. So anything you want to start new, January 6th through March 5th, 2019, it is the time to do it. Then August 11th through January 10th, 2020, this is going to be a time where you're rethinking things, re-evaluating things, re-evaluating everything you're doing in 2019. For some of you, you might be moving because Uranus is in the area of home and foundation. For some of you, you might be moving. Uh, but there's definitely going to be, you know, lightning bolts going on in the house. If you do move, you're going to want to because you'll love it. Like you'll move to a place that's better for you. The move will be very good for you. Anything that Uranus requires us to do, even if we don't like it, is good for us. Even when Uranus is in harmonious energy flow, it still requires change because that's his nature. And if we don't change, he creates chaos. So if you're supposed to move and you don't, he'll create chaos right in your house. Like you won't be able to escape this because that's the nature of Uranus and he does it to all of us. So he's taking you outside your comfort zone to expand your worldview of life. So you can go beyond limitations that keep you from growing and experiencing your own strength. And this is going to be full on 
March 6th on, and for the next six years, he's in Taurus. You'll get uh, or, uh, quite the reprieve when he gets into Gemini. Now, life can and will be different, but this is your lifeblood. You know, you like change when you initiate it. I know you don't like change unless you want to change. You are stubborn. You know, the fixed signs are the most stubborn signs of the zodiac. And you are a fixed sign. And you do like to change when you've decided. Like, I'm changing my hair. I'm changing my outfit. I'm changing my relationship. I'm changing my job. I'm changing where I live. If you want to do, if you initiate it, you're on board. But when it's thrown at you, you're like, hey, wait a minute. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> and so 2019 is going to be a banner year. It's up to you what that banner reads. Is it going to say, I'm open to change because I have courage, I have willingness, and I have heart? Or is it going to say, I'm going into the future kicking and screaming? <laughs> but it is a banner year. And so... You know, part of the challenge is you've got this huge conglomerate of planets in an area, in the area of how we sabotage ourselves. And we all have a 12th house. <laughs> and whenever there's planets in there, it just feels like it's, you know, Halloween all the time. You know, you just open the closet and out come the, the boogeyman and the skeletons. Because it's also a doorway into the past lives. And so you can be bringing up memories from prior lives and here's how you know you're you're in the past or you're somewhere else when you're in the moment are you afraid are you afraid no when you stay in the moment you're not afraid but when you go into the past that's where the fear comes up or you're out in the future now when you go out into the future you're not there yet of course you're scared. We'd all be scared if I try to go into, you know, 2026. I'm living my life in 2026, you know, and I, I'm not there yet. All power is in the present. Stay conscious. If fear comes up, if these eclipses are trigger, triggering fear with you, you're not in present time. You've gone somewhere else. Their intention is not to scare you. What they want you to do, what Saturn wants you to do, what Pluto wants you to do, is to take the junk to the trash. So when crap comes up, you know, how, how you judge yourself, how you criticize yourself, how you condemn yourself, how you punish yourself, how you hurt yourself, how you sabotage yourself, all of that crapola needs to go into a garbage bag or a recycle bin, however you recycle, <laughs> and bring it to the curb so the trash guys can take it away. And that is what you want to be doing in 2019 is letting them take it away because you're digging up stuff deep within inside of yourself stuff that can take you out of your comfort zone you've been doing great work here since 2008 processing this material that that you've been carrying around a bunch of negative experiences in their raw state with Saturn there now it's time to recalibrate it's not a time to stop or turn back Pluto says keep going. You have turned the difficult and tuned it into a deeper, more passionate and wiser you. And you are doing that. You're becoming deeper. You're becoming more passionate. And you're becoming wiser. It's one of the benefits of living a long life is we become wiser. And things that used to bother us, we don't even just, we don't even let it in. We just put a boundary, hit the delete key. We don't even go there. So the eclipses and starting in January, it's all about healing the wounds you've experienced, in, you've experienced by acknowledging the damage that's been done and using wisdom gained to celebrate your strength, your fortitude, and your resilience. This way you're prepared to open your heart to a more loving, fun relationship with other people and the Leo Eclipse is bringing that on January 21st. And it's about keeping your heart open and your mind to live your life authentically and being true to yourself. The eclipses are giving you the opportunity to clear away any shadows and limitations standing in your way of growing into your full potential. Don't shy away from the surface of, of 
what's coming up, you know, is no matter what it looks like or what it feels like, only you can uncover the hidden treasure that's buried there. So even on the surface, if it looks, you know, like, oh, I don't want to go there, or, oh, you know, by doing this work, by doing this heavy lifting in this part of your life, working on your psychology, you know, a lot of times I've been on my spiritual path for lifetimes and decades in this life, for most of my life. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people that are really spiritual, but they haven't worked on their psychology and they have all kinds of hangups. And even though they're spiritual, they're still stuck because they haven't done the work. And this is where we do the work. It's an inner work. It's an inner journey, this part of our life. And we all have to do it because these planets move through this part of our life every year at some point in the year. Everybody has a 12th house. And you've been working on this since 2008. And, you know, that is amazing. Now Saturn's coming in and joining Pluto, igniting this area. And you want to continue to work on this deep stuff. Because when you do it, then the treasure is discovered. Because it is the area of hidden treasure. And what happened to you is not as important as what you do with it. There is nothing buried deep within you that you don't have the capacity to transform. So remember that. Now, January 5th, you have the first uh, eclipse there in this area. This Capricorn eclipse is opening it all up and it's going to be very big. Then it's time to nurture your relationships, open your heart, keep the heart open. Then there's going to be a solar eclipse in Cancer in the area of your work, your lifestyle, your health habits, your psychological diet how you feed yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, your daily routine, your service to the world, and the unconscious mind. So you're working in the subconscious mind, you're working in the unconscious mind, you're working deep within self. And the North Node is in Cancer, which means for all of us, it's not about status quo. It's not about trying to keep everything the same. You won't be able to because your avatar, Uranus, is in Taurus. And it's challenging you to change and grow over the next six years. So sitting on the sidelines is not an option. In fact, if we're not accelerating, we're decelerating. There's no standing still. You're either moving forward or you're moving back. And, I, and you are about the future and you have so much to look forward to in here with your future. And it's all about nurturing your work, nurturing your health, nurturing your psychology, nurturing you, not being hard on yourself because of what you've had to experience. And we've all been through hell, especially women. We have been through hell. And, you know, the misogyny on this planet is off the charts. Now, I'm not saying men have it easy because they don't. Nobody. If you're in a body, you're on this planet, there's nothing easy about living. And, and that's even when you're healthy and feel good. It's even more challenging when you don't feel good. So it's not easy to be here. That's why one of the messages that the universe is giving you is to nurture yourself, nurture your health, nurture your well-being, make changes in your work. Maybe you need to change the hours. Maybe you need to change the days. Maybe you need to change your office, move your desk, you know, move to another building, you know, work from home, whatever it is, you're being invited to make changes in this area. Then there's going to be a lunar eclipse in July, July 16th in Capricorn. Back in that area again, doing the heavy lifting, working with your subconscious, working with how you limit yourself, how you sabotage, how you hold yourself back, cleaning that up, putting love there, putting light there. Maybe you could write a letter and burn it. You know, do a ritual of release and, you know, let go and, and forgive yourself for whatever you have to go through. And then the final eclipse in 2019 is in this area. So for all of us, our Capricorn, that part of our life that has Capricorn, it's game on. And there's a solar eclipse on December 26 in Capricorn. 
And now Jupiter will be in this area. Jupiter will enter this area December 3rd, 2019. Jupiter will enter Capricorn. But then he's going to enter Aquarius December 21st, 2020. And he's going to be in Aquarius all of 2021. Now, before I get there, having him in Sagittarius all of 2019 is very good for you because Sagittarius sextiles Aquarius. So Jupiter is lifting you up. Jupiter is encouraging you. Jupiter is going to be opening doors for you. He could be bringing you a great new love. He can be bringing you new friends. He can be bringing you new goals. He is bringing you money, opportunity. And this is the money you make from the business you own or money you make from the company you work for. But he is expanding you in a fabulous area of prosperity. So all the work you've been doing in your career in 2018, you're going to see a big payoff in 2019. And that means you have a lot to look forward to. So Jupiter is lifting you up. Jupiter is inspiring you. Jupiter is helping you and encouraging you. And this is good news. This is optimistic and hopeful and encouraging and uplifting. Like I said, from August 11th through January 20th, January 10th, 2020, you're going to do a review of this year because your avatar is going to go retrograde. And this is going to be the time where you get to reevaluate everything you've been doing this year to see how it's working for you and what needs to change. And then that way you can be moving through these energies because you want to get ready for Saturn entering Aquarius. Saturn is going to enter Aquarius March 23rd through June 16th, 2020. He's coming in to say, hi, I'm coming and I'm going to be working with you and we are going to redefine you. And, you know, as and I can tell you from experience, it's like as challenging as Saturn can be in the in the area of Capricorn for you. It, you get used to it, like you get comfortable with it. It's like, I don't know, just, it just, you just kind of get, you, you do the work, you get used to it, you clean things up, things are clean, and you just kind of hum along. But then when he steps into your own sign, <laughs> it's showtime. It's like, whoa, I am redefining everything. And it's action time. And it's the dawning of the age of Aquarius. And I think when Saturn gets to Aquarius, and then Pluto. Pluto will be in Aquarius in 2024. Then we're going to see things, we're going to see things far less divided the way it is in Capricorn. You know, this whole, you know, blue states, red states, Democrat, Republican, progressive, liberal, conservative. We're all going to be one people. When everything gets to Aquarius, that's when we're going to be like, this is stupid. We all want the same thing. We want a good life. We want health care. We want our kids to do well. We want the environment to be healthy. Don't we all want the same thing? Yeah, pretty much. We want, we want to, you know, there's a lot of things we want, all of us. And this goes for everybody, no matter where you are on the planet, because these go out all over the planet, which is totally Aquarian. And it's entirely what St. Germain wanted. St. Germain is the hierarch of the Aquarian age. Hail St. Germain, because he is bringing us to our prosperity. He is bringing us to the age of peace and enlightenment for everyone everyone and that's what Aquarius represents and we're almost there but we got to clean it up in Capricorn we have to do our homework in Capricorn we have to bring in the integrity we have to you know change the systems so that the systems are fair but there is this polarization going on with this Capricorn energy but that's going to shift when Saturn steps into Aquarius and even though it's going to be brief it'll be enough you're going to feel it you're going to be like whoa who moved in <laughs> Who moved in with me? And it'll be your new best friend, Saturn. And of course, Jupiter moves in there December 21st. Oh man, when Jupiter moves into Aquarius, you are going to be getting gifts from the gods. All this work you do now, you're getting a payday coming. Aquarius, your payday is coming. And Jupiter is going to reward you unlike ever before. And he's going to be in there with you for over 12 months. Because he stays till December 29th, 2021. And then he'll go into your money house. When he goes into Pisces, he's going to expand your wallet. It's going to bring you greater prosperity. So 
do the work now and you're going to see the payoff because Jupiter is going to get to Aquarius. He's, you know, he's in Sagittarius now, ride it because this is going to be a taste of what it's going to be like, but it's nothing like when he's in your own sign. And then he's going to go in with Saturn and, and, and he's going to be growing you in that area of working behind the scenes, completing things, loving on you, healing you, empowering you, nurturing you, and then boom, he's in Aquarius and then it's all about you. And it's super exciting. It's incredibly exciting. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Oh, and I need to talk about love. Where am I going? Okay, so, you know, the, the strongest times for love I'm seeing with you will be in May, June, July, and August. Now, that doesn't mean you won't be having, you know, opportunity for those that are, want to meet somebody because you do have Jupiter in a favorable area of bringing someone to you. It can be, uh, you know, a foreigner. It can be someone that is very different from you, different background. Uh, you can meet them through a friend or a group you belong to or uh, an association or work. Just be out and be open and you can meet someone. For those of you coupled, you know, the more you love on you and nurture you, the better partner you're going to be. And that's the message here is that I don't see any challenges to any of you that are in an existing relationship. It's, it's more about the growth work that's going on with you on inner levels, on deeper levels, how you're changing your psychology, how you're changing your worldview, the changes going on on your inner being, the changes going on in your home, the changes going on in your work. That's where I see the big massive areas of growth for you. Career, of course, you know, is for some of you, you may be changing how you work. You may be changing where you work. It's all appropriate because the eclipses are destiny and action. The North Node is the direction in life you're to go in and that's destiny and so you want to be following the changes that are being brought to you and go with the changes because that's what's going to make your life easier spiritually you know take that time for yourself you're going to need time for yourself this is not about being focused on the world and career you know, it doesn't mean you don't have a career or you, you don't, you know, care about what's going on in the world. It's more about taking care of you and doing that inner work and completing things and finishing up things and getting ready for Saturn to enter Aquarius, which is right around the corner. And it's going to be here before you know it. And that's what you want to be ready for. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my videos. Aquarius, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel, and it lets you know when I upload. So until next time, Aquarius, keep loving you. Go with the flow. Release and let go. And it will be amazing. The universe is bringing you opportunities. Do your work. Do your homework with yourself. And just be that loving, wise one that you are.